Using trig identities, this can be solved, but it's not easy at all. Fortunately, we can solve it without any trig formulae at all by using symmetry. So all we need to know is that the sine of any angle there and there is positive, and the sine of any angle here and here is negative, and also the sine of any angle here cancels out the sine of any angle here. So what we can do is, first of all, we can split the circle into five parts, which means that is 2 pi over 5, 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 and that is 2 pi over 5, and let's call this angle theta, 2 theta, 3 theta, 4 theta, and 5 theta. We can see that the sine of theta cancels the sine of 4 theta, and the sine of 2 theta cancels the sine of 3 theta, and the sine of 5 theta is 0, and so therefore we know that 2 pi over 5 is one solution. We also have the trivial solution, which is theta equals zero. And finally, we can also use symmetry to split it into six, so that this here is pi over three, this 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 is pi over three, and this is pi over three, and we can call this theta, two theta, three theta, four theta, and 5 theta, and again, theta cancels with 5 theta when we look at the sine, the sine of 2 theta cancels with the sine of 4 theta, and just leaves us with sine of 3 theta, but the sine of pi is also 0, so therefore the three solutions to the equation here, without using trig formulae, are a, theta equals 0, pi over 3, or 2 pi over 5, all found through symmetry.